Good morning, Glenda fam. Welcome back to the channel, or if you are new, welcome to our channel, guys. My name is Nicole, aka Mama Cole. I got my baby girl, Baby Z, here, Hi. and it is actually Tuesday. They had no school for staff development day, so it is 7.45 in the morning, the usual time we would be down here getting ready. Um, but we're going to make breakfast. Dad and Stella are still asleep. Dad has a day off also, so I don't know what's in store for today. I do know we are going to be making pancakes and bacon for breakfast, so I wanted to show that with you guys. I also just threw a load in the laundry, so you can hear that in the background. But yes, we're going to get to cooking. I got Baby Z here to help me, so let's get to it. Okay, guys, we got our pancake mix, Krusty's buttermilk pancake mix. I got the bowl. I am also going to be cooking the bacon in the air fryer. <gasps> this is what I wanted yesterday. Are you kidding me? Here is our bacon, and I already got foil in the air fryer. There is the bacon before. Now, I. I just take a wild guess. And if there's leftovers, they can be frozen. But also, uh, Z will tear up some pancakes, so. I probably with the whole thing right now. <laughs> and chocolate chips. And it's a chocolate chip pancake. Alrighty, y'all, we got pancakes going. Two things. I think I could maybe do either bigger pancakes or two pancakes in this one. But yes, we got pancakes going, baking, cooking. We got baby Z here eating some chocolate chips because she helps me with the pancake mix. Also y'all, I have this pineapple I'm going to cut up um, for the day to eat for breakfast maybe. And these two kiwis, last kiwis, this one might be bad, but yeah, it's gonna cut this up. And here is the after of the bacon. Now guys, breakfast is done and it is time to serve plates. Okay, don't put too much. My God. There's a little bit of grip that looks crazy. Okay, enough. Mom, I didn't even make a mess. Good job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. Alrighty, y'all. I am updating you guys. It is after breakfast. The girls ate. Me and hubby still haven't ate. Had a little snack and dipped. But it is amazing weather. We are here at Walmart. We are grabbing a puzzle to do for the day off since it is the day off. And yeah. No, you can go like this, walk like this. And then you have to doing the Conor McGregor walks, Z. The Conor McGregor. I'm gonna go over there and get a bike. Alrighty y'all, we made it to the puzzles. There are so many choices. For me personally, the bigger the better. So I, <gasps> they have the Disney, but those are only 300 pieces. Look how epic those are. They got the Christmas puzzles. That is too cool. They have the cutest, like look at this 500 piece puzzle. And, and, Oh my god, this is a puzzles. These are puzzles. <laughs> These are puzzles, and look how stinking cute. It literally, we would, we would get confused if this is cereal. They have the cutest Disney, but they're only 750 pieces, and I will literally finish that in a day. It's ready, y'all. It started <laughs> raining, so if my hair gets poofy, y'all know why. I wanted to show you guys um, our puzzles we got. We literally just got four puzzles. So, hubby's puzzle 
a thousand piece the DC Justice League and it is pretty badass so I'm excited for that one Zoraya chose Bluey 48 piece puzzle I chose the unicorn that, that was expensive super cute yeah she chose an expensive 100 piece glitter unicorns then the last puzzle is my puzzle. It is by the brand Kodak, and it is this uh, background. I don't know, the bears on the river. I am extremely excited. It even says it includes a puzzle poster. So, cool, cool. Alrighty, y'all, it is time to do a puzzle. We are gonna first do Bluey, and then we're gonna do Glitter Unicorns, and then we're gonna work on DC Justice League, and then Teddy. we'll work on this one. So I don't know if these will be done in this vlog. I know these two will be done in this vlog, no, and no maybe one. this one, but I'm not sure about this one. We'll see, we'll see. We're gonna get to work, right girls? Yeah. So Z is the blue and mine's the unicorn, that's the big one, the little Superman and mom's the bears. Our first puzzle is complete, y'all. We almost lost the puzzle piece. We did, it was in the crock pot. Now it's Stella's puzzle. We went double the size. We're at a hundred piece now. Oh, time one. y'all, Stella's puzzle is done. And I truly think it's missing a piece. We have mm -hmm. looked everywhere. We're definitely missing a piece. And cannot find it. So. <laughs> All right, vlog. We are here. In the rain, rain, sleet, snow, or hail. No, um, it did start raining, and it's not that cold actually. I have to protect my hair because I just strained it, and it took me an hour to strain my hair. My phone is getting soaked. Oh, the kids have been dying to go on a walk. Like, I mean, I, I mean, they do not stop asking. Oh, 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 oh. oh. some haircuts not him but the rest of us <laughs> now we are off to the garnesseria hubby wants him some garden asada it's my fault it's his fault everybody it's i'll admit it no. i'll stop for this five dollar chicken sandwich at uh hey, wing stop too we'll drink and you test my neck. anyway guys we are on our way to the garnesseria we're gonna go grab some garden asada some chicken some guac, all that good stuff. I'm gonna grill it in the storm. Yeah. Did you think about that? No, no we're gonna grill in the storm. Okay, guys, here is my grocery haul from the expensive garnisseria. Can you guess how much this cost me? Take a guess. I want you guys to guess. $108.60. You were close. Literally, yeah. She gave you all a hint. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. We got some pico de gallo, guac. Look at that, $6.99. We have some queso fresco, beef, uh, beef, beef garnisada, then we got chicken. Here are our baked goods we had. Y'all, yeah, we went at 2 o'clock, so they had no conchas or nothing. Very sad. These were literally our only options besides, like, plain bread. So, 
Yeah, but they got macaroons and some little things. We have some Mexican sour belt, so I'm gonna try them and not cook anytime soon. Ooh, mm. it's soft in the middle. What flavors you guys got? I got strawberry. Strawberry? I got apple. Apple? We got Alfredo cookies for dinner. Woo! Hubby's cooking it because I'm too into this puzzle right now. <laughs> Forgive me if I do it wrong, y'all. I'm just going with the flow. My dinner is served. There is sausage. But I'm going to pass on the sausage. And here is my puzzle progress. Not much, but something. Okay, guys, I finished the thousand piece puzzle. It took me like two or three days. Three or four days. I don't know. Lost track. I knew I had to get it done because it was taking up my time. Too much time. So, yes, I'm excited to destroy it. This video is in collaboration with Asoko. Asoko sent over their amazing motion sensor light. If there's a spot in the house that is just a little too dark, or if you need a night light or just a regular light, Asoko's light is for you. It has 48 lamp beads inside, which is super bright, but still a soft glare for the eyes. It has five color temperature lights and different brightness modes. To choose your color, simply touch the button and a long press to change the brightness. Asoko's curved light would be perfect for your bedroom, baby room, stairwell, cabinets, and so on. It's easy to install. It has a built-in magnet to stick on any ironwork throughout the house. For the light includes an adhesive tape to stick anywhere. Asoko sensor light has three different modes, on, off, and auto. On for constant light and auto for sensor movement. Asoko's light can sense 10 feet far and 110 degrees, and it shuts off automatically after 20 seconds of no movement. Asoko's light is USB chargeable and energy efficient. The light is easily charged with a USB cable, which is included as well. It can last three and a half hours on on mode or up to 25 days on auto so if you guys are interested in Asoko's curved sensor light they even sell these in a two-pack guys I also have a discount available for their lights I will have the code and the link in the description box so you can check them out and thank you so much Asoko for sending us your amazing curved sensor light we absolutely love it and thank you to everyone for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we will catch you in the next video have an amazing day everyone.